All right, this is KB2MXV, and I'm going to do a quick demo on how to convert a regular photo, a JPEG photo, to a format that is uh, workable on your FTM400 or FT2D, so you could send pictures without using the picture microphone. Um, I'll put a link in the description where to download this file from. It's my Dropbox account, but this is the file you need. It's called FTM400. And when you open that up, uh, what we're going to do is um, we really just need the FTM 400 folder. The, well, I'll export both folders, I guess, just for now. And I'm just going to dump them into my desktop on a new folder. Okay, so we can shut that down. So the trick here is uh, you need to take any image you want and resize it to 320 by 240. And the overall size in kilobytes cannot be more than 40 kilobytes. So it has to be under 40 kilobytes. So in the zip file, I have already resized uh, some pictures. Um, and the pictures need to go into the FTM 400 folder. So here are my resized pictures. Uh, you can see they're all 19, 11 kilobytes. What I'm going to do here is uh, the pictures that are in this FTM 400 folder are the pictures that are going to get converted and dumped into the photo folder. So what I'm going to do just to show you uh, the whole process, I'm going to delete these four pictures that I resized. And uh, in the FTM 400 folder, I have uh, a shortcut to a JPEG optimizer. When you open this up, it goes to jpegoptimizer.com. And what you want to do is upload a file. So let's uh, choose a file from my computer. Uh, we'll do, uh, I don't know, we'll do two files. We'll grab this, uh, this one file, which is uh, 4032 by 3024. We'll open that. Uh, compression image, we'll say compress it 75%. And we want to resize the photo to 320 on the long end. So let's hit optimize photo. And now you can see the new file size is only 15.3 kilobytes. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click here and save image. And we're going to put that into the FTM 400 folder. Okay. So that'll be the first image that we're going to down that we're going to convert and uh, let's grab two more images uh, so let's just go to uh, uh, my pictures folder and let me get uh, I'll get my call sign plate which is a 4k image same thing 75% uh, compression 320 on the long side will optimize photo this went down to 10k so I'm going to save image as and again I'm going to put it right into the, uh, the photo folder oh my first image didn't save to the photo folder let me see I'm only showing one image in there which image is this Oh, okay. Oh, did I put that in the photo folder? Yeah. No, I can't go in the photo folder. That has to go in the FTM 400 folder. Well, let's get rid of that. Let's cut that and put that here. Okay. So now we have two images here. So what we're going to do now is you're going to run this ftm400.exe file and this program was created by dc5kw um, someone told me about it and i reached out to him and he sent me a link to this web page that was kind of going offline but again the, it, the description will have the link to download this from my dropbox so when you hit ok what happens is it looks this program looks in the FTM 400 folder 
and it sees the two JPEG files that I have in there. So what you want to do is uh, control and select all the files that you want to convert and you're going to right click and it converts them and you'll know they're converted because they're out the two pictures are out of the FTM 400 folder and if you go into photo there are the two pictures renamed uh, and it does a little magic and there's also a QSO log folder and uh, they want you to copy this folder also over because you're going to go into your log on your radio so uh, what I'll do now is uh, I'll take some video from my uh, um, the SD card let me take the SD card out of my FTM 400 let me put this in my computer and I'm going to copy these files over for you okay so my SD card is the S drive now and so let's go to my computer let's go to the S drive okay so here my S drive I had converted some other images earlier uh, last month two three months ago I guess so what you want to do is you have to overwrite these two folders you can't have any anything you have previously saved on your SD card needs to get uh, taken off so I'm just going to delete these two folders from my SD card called photo and QSO log and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take photo and QSL log that was on my new folder on my desktop where the converted pictures in the log is and I'm going to paste that onto the card all right so now I'll show you what it looks like when you um, put the card in the FTM 400 okay so I just inserted the SD card into my radio uh, you can see the SD card logo there so what you want to do now is if you hit the F key function key and you want to go to log there's log okay and what you want to do is this here button right here this switches between text and photo so you want to be on photo now here are the two files that I just copied over to my SD card so if I touch the top one All right, there's one of the photos. If I go forward, oh no, I don't want to do that. And I'll go back, and then I'll touch the second photo. And there's the second photo I just converted. So it is possible, it is a little quirky to do, um, but that's the way you gotta do it if you take a picture that you wanna send over. Uh, to get on your Yesu radios without using the desk mic, uh, the picture microphone. All right, very good. KB2MXV.